Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today we're going to talk about Veer's Troopers, some variations, their mods, why speed is so important, and what you want to do generally when you're using them. So let's jump into it. So this is the standard Veer's Trooper team. You have Jenner Veer's, Admiral Piet, Dark Trooper, Range Trooper, Colonel Stark. The core of the team is General Veers, Admiral Piet, Dark Trooper, and Range Trooper. There's some key Zetas. This, as, I, as I go through the characters, we'll talk about those key Zetas. Um, but the main one is Veers is unique and the Emperor's Trap for Piet. So let's go into General Veers. General Veers, there's two abilities that are very important uh, for this character that make this uh, an effective team. So whenever you defeat an enemy, you were uh, Imperial Troopers gain 50% turn meter and offense up. Without that Zeta, you only have a 40% chance to gain 50 turn meter and an 80% to, uh, chance to gain offense up. So that offense up, whenever um, whenever Imperial Troopers gain a buff, they gain 10% turn meter and then they have a flat plus uh, 20 speed gain. So if you don't have that zeta can you use the team like yeah absolutely you can use the team uh is there a chance that that turn meter engine will slow down yeah you're starting to increase the rng factors and i would say this zeta is mandatory for this team to be as effective as um if you want it to be reliable um without the zeta i would say it's not a reliable counter to um a lot of things like zori uh, sith empire um, Jedi Knight Revens, there's, uh, you don't really need it for GL cleanups. Like this, this isn't as, if, uh, as important when you're, uh, cleaning up using Imperial Troopers to clean up, uh, GLs, uh, but it's, it is important. All right. So for, uh, Imperial, uh, Admiral Piet, um, this one isn't as important. I, I really don't use it all that much. The only reason I have it is for the speed on a ship. It's important for that. Um, but the most important Zeta here is this Emperor's Trap. So whenever an Empire ally begins a turn or attacks out a turn, all Empire allies gain a stack of the Emperor's tra Trap. The Emperor's Trap is a buff. Um, so it gives them 10% turn meter every time they get this buff, and that's what helps push uh, that turn meter. It also gives them offense, so when they get tons of stacks of this Emperor's Trap, it allows them to uh, to punch up and do, do an insane amount of damage. So the other Zetas, uh, let's talk about them. Um, so Dark Trooper, I would say his Zeta is not necessary. Um, if a, if the Dark Trooper has less than three stacks of, um, then it gains one stack of Dark Trooper squad. So pretty much if you're at like two stacks, you use this ability, um, you'll gain a, another stack. Uh, is it mandatory? No. Is it, I would say borderline extremely a luxury uh usually imperial troopers the enemy team isn't going to take a turn if they do take a turn um sometimes it like it just all goes downhill from there so is it mandatory for uh for dark trooper to need it um no i uh, i would say even uh, i did challenge tier three with this level gear and dark trooper had one stack and i was <laughs> i was still able um to do uh the challenge tier three i think it was the rebel one um or maybe no i think it was the ewok one the ewok one uh so it, it, it's not it's not a big deal uh and even in granarita and tw i've never I've in the whole time I've used Imperial Troopers, I've never wished I had that Zeta just because I, I'm either steamrolling them or they get steamrolled. Like if I make a mistake, then my team dies. That's it. Um, but generally not a big deal. Uh, this character doesn't have any Zetas, but the reason why he's so important is not for this uh, tenacity that that's whatever um but while range trooper is active imperial trooper allies have plus 50 percent chance to kind of call another buffed imperial trooper ally to assist when they use this uh, uh ability during their turn they do 20 percent less damage so calling assist you get more stacks of um, uh emperor's trap because whenever an ally attacks out of turn um they do that so uh, they, they get a stack of Imperial's Trap. So sometimes Dark Trooper, um, once you put Marked on him, uh, he can take three turns. So if he'll go, he'll hit, he'll hit again, and then he'll do the Range Trooper uh, 
uh, ability and then he'll at attack one time one more time uh, so that's like pretty clutch pretty cl uh, key um, and that helps drive the turn meter train and it helps just do more damage all right so this zeta this zeta honestly can be more of a liability if uh if you're trying to or if you mistaken something and an enemy has uh let's say uh an uh undispellable um buff immunity or you're trying to punch through something like nest or something uh this will be a liability or if you're using them to clean up like a uh you know uh, SOKR or something you're pushing his turn meter thus he's gaining um, he's gaining 10% uh, health every time this happens so I would say to me I would think this is more of a liability is it necessary no does it help the turn meter train in most cases yeah absolutely it does but um, not necessary whatsoever um, so without the Zeta at the end of his turn Stark recovers 7% health while Stark is active Imperial Trooper allies have plus 50% armor penetration not a big deal um, with the Zeta at the end of his turn Stark recovers 3% protection and removes 1% turn meter from all enemies uh, for each active empire doubled for Imperial allies so um, since it says for each instead of each other uh, it, it pretty much is a flat 10% if all your Imperial Troopers are alive, um, which is, it's good, you know, don't get me wrong, um, but an, a luxury and sometime a liability. So I wouldn't do it. So let's talk about their mods and how you want to dial in these speeds. And I will say, I'll say this, uh, for Veers, Piet, Range, Stark, their mods, honestly, doesn't matter that much except for having the speeds dialed in for range i just like some survivability a little bit of speed he's really slow uh stark i guess ideally you would want like crit chance crit damage um i don't know how i i, I will i guess we'll find out when i click on him um but his mods really aren't that important he's a middle of the pack character i uh, usually he's he's with Aiden for me anyways um because i do prefer uh i do prefer to have gideon in there um but it's uh it's it's definitely like just damage i guess you can mod range trooper for damage too i like some survivability uh, but it really doesn't matter and then veers uh generally i i say at least for three imperial troopers speed is important um so let's go look at the as far as like the core of what the speeds you want to look at for all right so 343 is what my piet is without the bonuses let's break out the handy dandy calculator of how you want to mod the rest of your um your imperial troopers so 343 plus uh 20 for uh for the veers lead so he acts at 363 right so the next fastest imperial trooper if i divide that by 1.2 it needs to be 302 speed um because when you you go in um, you're going to start your turn and then you're going to use Imperial Ambition on Dark Trooper. Uh, that's going to give uh, some some turn meter over here, two, uh, two buffs. So you go over here to Dark Trooper. Uh, Dark Trooper is my second fastest. It can, you can go Veers, you can go Range, Stark, whatever you want. I chose Dark Trooper because I'm always going to have Veers, um, Veers, Piet Dark Trooper are the core. That's what I use for threes, and they're always in. Uh, and it, they're always in the, um, in the team, regardless of threes or fives. I do need to get that one up. What am I doing with that? Uh, Thirteen speed, a little low. I should probably, I should, I should probably six out of that, so we can get a little more offense. All right, so, um, so pretty much here, I have all offense. So offense, 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 and then I should six dot this to give them some more offense. Um, but the speeds I have them at is 290. So I have to hit 302. Um, but if you remember, 290 plus 20 is 310. So he acts at 310. So pretty much Piet is going to um, mark Dark Trooper. Dark Trooper, the good thing about Dark Trooper going second is there's, uh, there's a few things you can go um, or do. If you notice that you need a lot of turn meter, then you can use Perfect Soldiers. Perfect Soldiers, uh, Imperial Trooper allies gain 10% turn meter for each stack of Dark Trooper squad. The Dark Trooper has, if Dark Trooper has two or more stacks of Imperial squad, Imperial Remnant allies gain offense up for two turns. Otherwise, Imperial Remnant allies gain offense up for one turn instead. So um, you can use this to push turn meter 
leader throughout the team. Usually I don't. Usually I just go for the punch, you know, just punchy punchy. Uh, if for some reason you're like locked behind a tank or something crazy, you could always um, just do this and it deals damage to everyone. Um, but usually I just use the pneumatic punch, but you can use perfect soldiers to push tune meter. I usually wait. Uh, so that's my fastest, uh, second fastest uh, Imperial troopers, right? So, it, like I said, it has to act at 310. Um, so, if we go ahead and times this again by 1.2, I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to divide it. 310 divide by 1. Uh, 1.2 all right so 258.3 so let's say 259 is my second fastest or third fastest imperial trooper has to be so from here you go to uh, levers and then he's 260 and that's without the plus 20 so he acts at 280 and then from there it, it gets super negligible like extremely neg neg negligible right so let's say let's just say like 260 um times 1.2 again uh 260 divide by 1.2 um, 216. So my next Imperial Trooper, my fourth fastest Imperial Trooper, has to be at least 216, um, which is incredibly slow, like <laughs> amazingly slow. Um, so this character acts at 252. All right. So that's so he acts at 272. So if we go here, um, 216, the next one, uh, let's times this by. Or again, sorry, uh, 216. Oops, 216. Divide this by 1.2. The next one has to act at 180. So if we go over here, range trooper, 214. So as you can see, um, there my speeds are down correctly for this and it, you can tell and there's there's a way you can tell usually um, if you've ever had your Admiral Piet go and then you mark Dark Trooper and then another character takes a turn then you know you didn't do your speeds right because let's say you're you're mirroring Imperial Troopers right and then you check their Piet and you're like okay um, their Piet is 342 and then you come and you check your Piet and you're like oh nice my Piet's 343 I win right so you go and then you mark Dark Trooper and then their Piet goes, he marks Dark Trooper and then they run their turn meter train and you're like, what the F happened? Why did that happen? It's because um, if your second fastest character isn't dialed in correctly, then in that bonus turn meter doesn't take them exactly to over 100%, then their go the enemy is going to gain or everyone's going to gain some turn meter to bridge that gap of whatever's left. Um, and if it's like so close, then there's a chance that you just uh, you just lose. Uh, same thing, uh, a big thing with uh, like if you're going to use Imperial Troopers to take out um, if you're going to take out what is it? Star Killer. They're incredibly fast. They can, if you have a slow one, it could be like 370, 380, 390, or whatever. Um, and then you have a really fast Gideon, and he acts at like 400 speed or something. And then your Piet isn't dialed in correctly, and you go Gideon. Um, if you don't use control the situation, if you use something else and you're like, oh, I'm just going to loop around because I'm going to run a turn meter train. Um, and then you don't have enough bonus or you don't gain enough bonus turn meter. And then the enemy goes. And if that star killer goes, Mara Jade takes a turn, you lose. It, that's it. So that's why it's important to have the speed dialed in correctly for this team. Um, it's very, very important. All right. So that's, let's look at some variations of what you can do. So in, um, especially in Conquest, I'll use Wat Tambor to go uh, first. So if you, the way it works is with a Zeta, um, Wat Tambor will take a bonus turn at the beginning. The only thing that will stop that bonus turn from happening is uh, like, let's say Han. If you go against, uh, if for some reason they have Han on the enemy team, um, you can't use Imperial Troopers on it. Like Han always shoots first. Um, it'll never work out for you. So with Wat Tambor, um, so let's say, let's say my, um, my Piet, he is 343 plus, sorry, 343 
plus 20, so that's 363. And then Wat Tambor is going to go first. He's going to use a basic. And then when he uses a basic, uh, Imperial, all his allies are going to gain two um, buffs. So you're going to times that turn meter by 1.2. And then my veers is going to act at 435. So what that means is if I put Watt into my team and I take out Stott, uh, Stark, then that means I can take out probably Imperial, uh, like Star Killer teams because um, usually Mara Jade to act above that, she would have to, uh, let's see, minus 70. Um, she would have to have a natural speed of 366. So if she doesn't have, and, and they're out there, absolutely, there's there's plenty of Mara Jades that act at like 366 or more, um, but that's a incredibly fast Mara Jade. So um, I can take down Starkiller with my Imperial Troopers as long as I have three, uh, as long as the Mara Jade has less than 366 speed because she's going to get plus 70 from the Starkiller unique. And then um, Moff Gideon. Moth Gideon is a really good um, fifth. Usually people say it's overkill. Um, my Moth Gideon is extremely low gear. He doesn't have a Zeta. I can't use him in Imperial Remnants. I can't use him in Gidme. So I use him as a fifth instead of Stark. The reason is, um, especially if I'm going against like really strong teams like a Star Killer or a Sith Empire uh, Revan lead, is this control the situation is really good. Like call all Imperial allies to insist dealing 30% less damage. All units lose 100% turn meter, which can't be resisted. Allies gain 25% turn meter. Tank allies taunt for two turns. Attack allies gain 50% offense for two turns. And support allies gain 100% protection up. Um, that's with the Zeta, so without without that other stuff. So call all Empire Troopers, allies to assist, dealing 30% less damage. All units lose 100% turn meter, which can't be resisted. All allies gain 25% turn meter. Usually when I use this, I control the situation. The enemy dies. My team gains a buttload of turn meter, and then we continue that, uh, that turn meter train. Um, and then this has an armor shred on it. And this has uh, some like days and stuff. Not not as big of a deal. Or I'm sorry, uh, his other his other ability that he gets, he, um, where he like takes out his gun and he starts like getting people. Uh, they they get um, <laughs> they get some days. Uh, so it's good. And especially if I'm going against like Zori Bliss team and I have to just like continue to roll um, my turn meter because uh, their tanks are gonna gain. Um, gain taunt and damage immunity and i have to cycle through uh twice with piet and then i have to go like run my turn meter train long enough that piet can run through his cooldowns and get to another one and then dispel it again and then i win from there um so it, it can be a little dicey you got to play it right but you it, you know, like that having Moff Gideon there with control of the situation allows me to control that that turn meter. And then it it makes a huge difference um, compared to if I just had, I guess if I had the Stark Zeta, that would be one where it would help with that turn meter. Um, but Moff Gideon allows me to take out those uh, Zori Bliss teams. And then if they did take a turn, then he demoralizes them and they have 50% less uh, offense. And it gives me a chance of surviving if I make like a mistake. So... Um, oh, usually it's overkill though. Usually it's overkill. Watt, again, overkill. Usually you want Watt with like um, SOKR or C or something. Um, you can even use them with like Darth Vader uh, with weapon tech to take out, um, you know, some Night Sisters or something so that they don't revive. Uh, but like this is they are an option here because if uh, you have a they have a star killer on defense and you're just looking for like okay what i kind of do you just have to you know do the math real, really quick like i showed you and then ensure that you're faster than them and then that's an easy win with veers piet dark trooper range trooper Watt. and you may say like oh but captain amazing what if um won't uh Watt break the um turn meter train with emperor's trap uh no like what what isn't going to take a turn he'll use his basic and then the these four are going to run that turn meter train. They're going to start killing people. And then uh, Watt will never take a turn again. He, he does his job in the beginning. And then he just kind of like hangs out. All right. So cleanse. Imperial troopers can be ineffective. Either uh, 
usually clean up for Lord Vader. Um, if you have really good speeds, like insane speeds, or um, you have really high rec relics on your Imperial Troopers, it is possible, like it's more of a Hail Mary, to use Imperial Troopers to take out Lord Vader. Um, and the big thing is if you want to do that reliably, your Iden Versio has to be faster than your Piet. So your first fastest character has to be Iden, um, and then she will cleanse. So you, she'll use uh, Will Grieve later. Uh, she'll cleanse all the uh, dispel all debuffs from Imperial Trooper allies, and then from there, um, when you have no dots or days from Lord Vader, then you can start getting turn meter. You'll just punch through. You'll you'll kill all his ads, and then you'll kill him. Or usually, um, it's just Lord Vader. Lord Vader will take his turn if he uses like a Force Crush or something. All your Imperial Troopers have uh, dots on them. Iden will come and cleanse, and then you'll go. Um, if you don't have Iden because you like threw her on defense or you did something else with her um or she's just like not your fastest which is fine um you don't they don't have to be your she doesn't have to be your fastest for the cleanup uh for the cleanup um you can just like take turns um try to do as much damage as you can until Iden goes you cleanse and then you can start your turn meter train and you'll probably be fine um i've done it plenty of times so if you don't have Iden, these are some other variation of characters that have a team cleanse that you can use if you just have like an Ewok elder sitting there, Shock T, Cheru, Admiral Akbar. Um, I think there's some other ones like a like one of the Night Sisters. I think it's like Night Sister Initiate um, and Finn, like normal Finn, also have the cleanse of uh, dispel all uh, allies. So all you need is one cleanse, you cleanse it, and then the Imperial Troopers will do everything from there. And same thing as what, it doesn't matter, like you, um, you're just going to run a turn meter train, you're going to punch Lord Vader in the face and you'll kill him. So having that cleanse, uh, it's just a, a useful, um, a useful variation for, um, for the Imperial Troopers. And just, uh, one more thing, just to know if for extras, if you just need, uh, cleanups or if you need uh for conquest like this time sometimes there's like get imperial trooper um feats you can use of course item versio because she will always take a turn even low gear I, it worked for me um but also sometimes i just like shove malik in here as the fifth um with a voluntary vanguard and pretty much you just try to get teams that only do um single single uh, attacks so if you if you find a um you know like a mon mothma or uh you know, a good one is uh, usually i try to target um the rex lead uh troopers they do have aoe's but usually they use like some basic and some sis and then they all get feared and then my uh my troopers take a turn um, or you can use the Watt variation. For my speeds, um, I could only use Watt one time. So I'll use Watt one time and then um, it'll give me enough turn meter by the time they're like 90% uh, stamina, then especially in like sector five, uh, my troopers are no longer fast enough. And that's when I use the, the Malik variation to do it. But you can use, uh, you can use both uh, to get it, or you can use, um, I don't know how effective the Iden Versio version is anymore uh, because before you would use like uh, the Amplify Agony with all the dots and then the enemy team would die because she would just like AOE. It would like a bunch of dots happened. You would get a bunch of turn meter and then the, you know, even when she was like gear eight and everyone else was gear eight, I was able to do it in sector five. I don't know now with the discs, I, I don't think it would still be as viable um but this veers trooper team is a super reliable way to do it with either malik um, with voluntary vanguard or wat tambor is a really good um so and i i use the hots the heal over times with offense up and it just like my turn meter never stops so um really good team overall um, so that's that's pretty much it guys. That's how you want to mod Imperial Troopers. The big thing is like for Stark, Range, Veers, Piet, it really doesn't matter on the sets uh, as far as like the damage, damage, survivability, or all damage. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, what truly matters for this team is their speeds just have to be dialed in. You want as much speed as you can for Piet. You need someone to bridge that gap, so you do need a second Imperial Trooper to be somewhat fast, and then from there you just need to um, 
you need to con ensure that you have enough speed um, for the third Imperial Trooper. So it can't have like absolute garbage, but you know, just medium. Um, and then with Dark Trooper, you just want all offense, like as much offense as you can get. You just want, you just want big daddy damage. Um, my Imperial Trooper or my Dark Trooper is only R5, and then I do need to uh, to six dot this one um, just to to give him a little more offense. But at our Relic Five. Um, even before I gave him like decent mods, like he he does everything I need him to do. Um, this team has not disappointed me as long as you have the speed styled in and you have the mods somewhat correct on this team, then it's it's gonna do what you need it to do. Um, so if there's any other teams that you wanna see, um, let me know in the comments. I am planning on doing, um, I think the next one I may just do all the GLs, like how to mod all the GLs um, as my next video. Um, other than that, if you want to see other teams uh, on, you know, variations, mods, or anything like that as I continue this series, let me know in the comments. Other than that, if you like this content and you want to see more, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. So, take care.